guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be showing you guys um, a quick deep conditioning routine uh, for if you are on the go okay guys so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my routine the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my hair soaking wet this is a super important because you don't want to just apply your hair uh, products to your hair when your hair is not you know soaking wet especially if you have hair similar to mine it just doesn't take well so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this co-wash from as I am it's the dry and itchy scalp care co-wash it's from their new line their tea tree oil line and I have to say this is one of their best co-wash I even like this better than the actual like original as I am co-wash the only thing I don't like um, better than the original is that it doesn't detangle your hair as well but as far as like the tingling on the scalp and things like that I really do like that um, with this co-wash so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to my hair now I do shampoo my hair more than I co-wash I used to co-wash so much back in the day when I first went natural but I find that co-washing or overdoing something in your natural hair routine is not the best so I started to do like a balance and I basically co-wash when I feel that it's needed. So today I'm going to go ahead and do that because I've been shampooing my hair pretty much every wash day and I feel like a co-wash is needed. So I went ahead and took my scalp brush and I massaged the roots of my hair because I feel like that I don't really do that that much in my routine in the shower anymore. I'm always doing it outside of the shower and I miss actually doing it in the shower. It makes it for a more relaxing hair day and you know wash day. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So as you guys can see, I have my hair saturated. I do have my hair parted, you know, half up, half down. That's because I feel like that the product gets on a little better when I separate my hair. Normally I do four subsections but today I just decided to do it this way I'm not sure why okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and deep condition my hair of course you guys already know I'm using the Nourish by Shante hydration treatment and I'm using this because I absolutely love this like you already know I love this stuff and a lot of people have already tried this so if you've already tried this leave a comment down below or on my website letting me know if you love it as well so I got all the way in the shower only to realize that I did not have any deep conditioner I hate when that happens but I got another jar of deep conditioner re-up yes now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my deep conditioner to my hair um, this stuff goes on super super silky and smooth so I pretty much just washed out that co-wash and applied my deep conditioner onto my hair and since I'm going to be leaving this in my hair I'm not going to be washing it out I wanted to make sure that I got like all of my curls so I went ahead and parted that section into another subsection and I'm pretty much just going to apply the deep conditioner to every single curl I actually felt like at one point I was shingling um, in the shower my curls and I was like oh I forgot that I'm not like styling my hair but I was just trying to make sure that I really got my hair like saturated with that deep conditioner so as you can see like I'm really taking my time and I recommend that if you're doing a deep conditioner on the go that you take your time as well just because you don't want to get to the point to where your hair has like clobs of deep conditioner in one place or your hair is like tangled so you just want to make sure that you thoroughly detangle your hair so that your deep conditioner can actually like be marinating your curls throughout the day especially since this is an on the go style you just want to make sure that you really take your time with applying your deep conditioner and on that note also make sure that you're using a good nourishing deep conditioner because you are leaving this in your hair for um, majority of the day but I just feel like that if you're going to be leaving something in your hair on your scalp where your body's pretty much absorbing everything that's on the scalp at that moment especially for a long periods of time you want to make sure that you're using something that is very good so of course this deep conditioner I'm using has organic ingredients and has all natural oils and you know herbs and things in the deep conditioner as always with all my products so I don't have much to worry about you guys already know that but I'm just saying like if you are using a deep conditioner that's not that good or has a lot of chemicals on it, you may want to think about that because you're going to be leaving this on your hair for a while.
So as you guys can see, I went ahead and did a little bit of detangling while I had that deep condition on my hair because like I said, I don't want any clumps or tangles um, to be happening while I have my hair like wrapped around all day. So now I'm just going to do the exact same thing to the front sections of my hair. Um, and as you guys know, I'm doing the exact same like layering process that I do normally, which is I wash my hair with a shampoo or a co-wash. And then after that, I follow up with a deep conditioner because to my opinion, a deep conditioner is always supposed to restore any type of moisture that was lost during the um, washing process or just, you know, to soften the hair. So I always like to follow up with my deep conditioner um, right after I finish the washing process. And then after I wash out my deep conditioner, I like to add my actual conditioner, which you guys will not be seeing in this video. But if you click above, you can see the entire routine of how I do like my wash routine. All right, so the deep conditioner, of course, is still in my hair. So all I do now is, this is gonna go really fast, but all I do is I brush my hair up with a dimming brush and I pretty much put my hair into a bun. Sometimes I do a top knot bun and sometimes I do like a low bun. But today I decided to do like a fun two bun type of thing. <laughs> and I'm not really going into detail with this style because it just pretty easy. You just wrap your hair around two buns. That's it. My parts are not even straight like girl. Now, this looks extra crazy right now, but don't worry. I was just trying to get my hair pulled up and smoothed down. And then I just took my hands and pressed the buns down to where they're actually like small and not sticking up like Scary Spice. So I did that. And of course we have all this like conditioner around, but don't worry about that. We'll get that later. So I took some water in this spray bottle, which is just plain water. And I'm pretty much like, fixing my baby hairs and like kind of laying it down messy looking. I'm just taking out some flyaways and things like that and just smoothing my hair down to make sure that everything looks presentable. So the next very important step is to go ahead and take a satin or silk scarf and wrap that around your hair so that this can lay down your hair and just set your hair so that it doesn't look like, you know, too messy. It just kind of makes everything fall into place and it also takes a little bit of that residue away and it just molds everything into looking better so leave that on for about 10 to 15 minutes walk around the house when you're done you're going to take it off and your hair is going to look a little more set and put together so as you guys can see there's still some conditioner on my hair but don't worry we're going to get that off um definitely put a lot of deep conditioner in my hair as you guys seen in the shower but it's fun because we have our microfiber towel and we're going to get some of that off and then after the video I went back around in my hair and got some more of it out. So this was a super easy simple style and it's something that you can do if you're like in the rush and you just don't want to you know wash out your deep conditioner right away if you want to have like a little deep conditioner going on while you're out. So yeah, I definitely just love doing this, especially when I don't have time to like do my entire wash day. And this is my hair the next day when I took it down. My curls were like super popping. I didn't even want to wash it out, but of course I went ahead and washed it out. <laughs> Let me know if you guys like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment down below what you think. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.